We're back in the barn. Uh, well, I've been in the barn the whole time, but you're back in there with me, uh, filming another session. So, you know, for this kind of lockdown period, I've been kind of really focusing on kind of putting on some muscle size. So, a lot more reps. I'm coming to the end of that program now. Uh, so, the session this week is quite a high volume one. So, we're going to be doing some log press, some incline dumbbell, and some assistance exercises like your classic bodybuilding movements. But yeah, it's going to be a lot, a lot more reps than you probably used to see on the channel. Uh, but this is the last week before we kind of start ramping things up as we hope we get back to a competitive season. You know, it's been a really interesting period. Like, it's been kind of tough, obviously, with no competitions to train for, but you know, I'll stay focused on, on kind of the goals of this particular program, and it's been really effective. And obviously, my body weight's been, been going up, probably helped by the fact that I haven't been in work, and I've kind of been chilling at home and stuffing my face with food, as quite a lot of people have been. Uh, but yeah, another win for the barn, obviously. Without, without this place, I've been royally fucked. I wouldn't have been able to do uh, my training, uh, so having this on site has been, been awesome. So yeah, the first exercise is going to be strict log press out of the rack, we're doing 5 sets of 10 on that. So one thing I have changed during this period is uh, I changed the log position on my chest. So before I used to get my elbows right through and try and rest on my delts. Since I've put on a bit of weight, got a little thicker in the uh, upper chest region, it's allowed me to sit the log a, little, a lot better. So I can actually get my elbows underneath the log a lot more. It's sitting a bit further out. Um, it seems to make a massive difference. It feels so much more comfortable. So yeah, who knew? Get fat and happy and get better at log press. This is why Hixie's so heavy the whole time. It makes perfect sense. Exercise, man. My anterior delts just fucking blown up. The big thing is, a lot of my training, I don't do a lot of reps, you know, especially when I'm in competition. So that's my kind of big goal with this program was to alternate, you know, the weeks between doing like volume in five sets of ten and some more traditional strength work of five sets of five and with differing intensities. And it it's worked really, really well. Not just for me, but some other guys I've programmed before as well. A couple of the rugby players have benefited really well and put some good weight on. That was why I brought out the kind of um, bulking with barbells program, you know? It's a version of this program running now, but I just made it kind of friendly for everyone who's just got a barbell in place. You know, a lot of people don't have a gym set up like this. Uh, I'm very fortunate, well, I'm not fortunate, 
I just basically spend all my money on it. Uh, so that's not really being fortunate. I just don't do anything else. I'm a sad bastard. But you know, that was the big thing for me. Like, I wanted to get that program out to people so they can train at home if they've just got, you know, barbell plates, squat rack, and a bench. You know, it's a limited equipment. Uh, and it's obviously worked for me. Uh, the, the main kind of premise of the program, so I wanted it to work, work for everyone else. So, yeah, it's kind of uh, available now. Go to the Silverbar website. So, I made this, you've probably seen on my Instagram a while back. I made this during lockdown. Uh, it was to the like top end of my carpentry skills, but. It was just based off a, a dumbbell rack I used in uni up at Loughborough. We used to have these things that slot into the benches with like two hand cutouts so you could take the dumbbells off. And because I've been training on my on my own quite a bit, it's getting a little bit dangerous like trying to kick up like the 70 kilo dumbbells up to my shoulder. I decided to make this and yeah, it's a lot easier obviously just racking at the top. You've got like the two the cut, cut out bits for your wrists. So obviously I'd roll out to the edge and then just pick it up off there and then just dump it back, the back laying catches at the back so yeah it's really easy to make uh, most people can probably work out how to make it pretty easily so yeah it's just a lot of wooden screws uh, but yeah if you're a home gym user definitely make one of these chains so that's the session wrapped up there brutal one today with the humidity obviously that's my heaviest like volume session of this program so it's always gonna be tough but yeah we got a log done onto the dincline dumbbell presses and then a little circuit to finish just to get some blood into the various muscles the assistance muscles so it doesn't seem like a lot but all those sets add up especially when you've got the right intensity so get up now get some food chill out on to the next session we've got a big deadlift session planned for tomorrow so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video guys uh, it's been a long time we're getting some content back to you guys now i know you guys have been asking for it so yeah hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like it make sure you share it and the more subscribers we get the more videos we can pump out so yeah thanks for watching